Gove Closure Program and the work that we're doing here is incredibly meaningful. For us to have the opportunity to work on such a large project in a remote area and ultimately creating a legacy for the area and our traditional owners moving forward is an incredibly important role and opportunity for Rio Tinto and all of us that are working on this project. There are really four main components to our closure program here at Gove. The first is the refinery, which is the scene that we're, that we're in right now. And it's about pulling down the refinery, the primary demolition of this site, and returning this back to, to, back to a state in which it can be used for industrial purposes moving forward. Hi, my name is Spokna, and I work as a superintendent in the closure projects and controls team. We look after enabling projects and basically these enabling projects are to make sure we do the necessary required things before we actually get into the demolition mode. For me the joy that I get working in gold closure at the moment is um, learning, uh, being part of a, a bigger industry that is new for everybody. Gove closure, as we've been told, is one of the biggest assets that's getting actually closed down. And for myself, growing and learning and improving my knowledge and making sure my teams are empowered and go home safely are the key things for this program. Vic Effie Harris, my name, I'm the superintendent for refinery closure. The work is important because it's about preparing this refinery for demolition. Currently, it's still energised. Currently there's still hazardous materials uh, contained within and currently um, all of the essential services uh, that support both the site, the community and the broader community run through the footprint of this refinery. The work itself is, uh, there are a lot of moving parts and I think that uh, for me personally what it means is we've got an opportunity to uh, to make right, uh, to do a good job at closing the site um, and, and do a responsible job you know, in terms of um, returning it to the traditional owners uh, as well as leaving a legacy and, and our own footprint on, on this site. That's what it means to me. The second area is the effective closure of our residue disposal areas or our RDAs, our tailings facility, so it remains a safe and stable landform moving forward. My name's Gary Myers, I'm the RDA Superintendent for Closure and my main responsibility is the safe operations of the tailings dam. The role of the RDA and its purpose was to store all the waste product from the refinery. And the refinery shut down now so we've gone from an operating tailings facility to now we're in closure. So for us moving forward now it's um, getting the RDA capped, reducing or eliminating any possible risk to environment and providing a, a, sort of a safe area. My name's Ben Fullerton, I'm the General Manager for Rio Tinto Projects and I'm engaged on the Gove Closure Program to deliver the Pond 5 project and the Refinery Phase 2 project. The closure of the RDA as a whole requires some sequential closing of ponds. So Pond 5 is the one that we're focusing on at the moment. Pond 4 has been done previously and when we finish Pond 5 we'll move on to the other ponds. So the Pond 5 capping project is about um, providing a surface over the top of the red mud dam. And what that will do is control some environmental risks that we have and some risks to the operation. Number one is to cap the red mud, so that will mitigate dust and provide some dust management for the area. The other one is to control water infiltration into Pond 5. 
and by doing that we'll reduce the uh, inflows into the site water balance which will mean that we'll treat less water in the long run and be able to close other dams quicker in the future. Partnership is really important on the Pond 5 project and we have partners um, from different components of, of the project. We've got some highly technical engineers involved on the job, we've got our construction teams, we've got um, local businesses assisting us to deliver the job and of course we've got our external stakeholders in government entities but also most importantly our traditional owner groups. One of the primary technical challenges that we're facing at the moment is developing a method in which we can treat the wastewater effectively. Hi, uh, my name is Sita, Superintendent, Go Water Treatment Plant. The Go uh, Water Treatment uh, Plant is located at the refinery. The objective of this plant is to treat the pond liquor stored in the residue disposal area by removing contaminants and releasing them safely into the marine environment. The treatment of the liquor is key to the closure of the RDA on time. Without this treatment plan, we cannot empty the pond. That means we cannot complete the closure. It's a very exciting project personally for me. In my team, I have two PhD um, process engineers and every day uh, we have something new to actually resolve and it actually uh, provides um, a lot of learning for, for not only just for me but also for the team and uh, we're actually looking forward to completing this full-scale demonstration to enable the future, to unlock the future of this uh, water treatment plant. The third area is the mine closure, which is something that we've progressively been doing for, for many years now and will continue as we continue to mine over the next decade or so. And then the fourth and final area is preparing the town for an effective future and a positive future following mining operations here at Gove. I'm Alicia Sherwood, I'm the General Manager for Communities and Social Performance for Pacific Operations and my role is responsible for the communities across our operations and in particular the Gove Closure Project. Rio Tinto's uh, agreement with the traditional owners underpins majority of our work here and it provides our social licence to operate. So one of the key factors is ensuring that the traditional owners are set up for the future by having business and economic opportunities and able to foster and grow their businesses for now and for when we close the operations. And Nulamboy in the region is a strong, resilient, entrepreneurial town and region and Rio Tinto is proud to be a partner to many local businesses here and a part of the closure project will be to ensure that local businesses are maximising the opportunities that Rio Tinto has available over the next 10 years. Gove Closure uh, is a complex and exciting project. I think we are able to work with traditional owners and the community here in Nulamboy to make sure the people who've invested a lifetime here have a future when mining ceases. The Gove Closure Project is a very important project for, for Rio Tinto um, and it's a very meaningful project to everybody that's working on it and of course the, the, sounding, the surrounding community. There's a lot at stake that, that, we, that we get this right, that we close this place properly and that we create a lasting legacy for, for the area. Yeah.